Hello, I'm Dougie Johnston. I'm provisional president of Region 3 of the Baker's Food and Allied Workers Union. And I'm standing outside a food attraction in Leicester. Another anti-trade union company. Another blot on the landscape of Leicester's workers. Another employer that believes in denigrating its employees. I'm standing here because I believe in workers. I'm standing here outside a food attraction who create Jake and Nan's Indian street food. The people who supply cost cutter, Lidl, Sainsbury's and loads of others makes, makes massive profits but can't seem to realise that the people who make those profits are those workers. They are proud. They are proud. They are run by a brothers. They are owned by a brothers, a family. Jake Carrera and his Carrera and his brother Nance. Recently, Jake has, has expressed how he wants to take the example of another anti-trade union company, Samworth Brothers. Yes, we all remember Samworth Brothers. We all know about Samworth Brothers. And where, by the way, to quote. To quote Douglas MacArthur, we shall return. We shall, we do not forget what you have done. Like Samworth Brothers, workers are forgotten in their equations. Workers are guaranteed things like four hours a day and they're made to work over 12 hours. Do not know when they are finished. They're just guaranteed four hours a day. They do not care. But sick workers are denied any kind of sick pay. They are just forced onto statutory sick pay to survive. They do not care. But Jake says, working through his pandemic, they did not seem to care. They did not seem to do anything. Jake exclaims, our staff didn't feel uncomfortable about coming into work because the majority of them said they felt safer in the factory than they would on the streets or even at home. And that has been our ethos of business. If you look after your staff, they will go ahead and look after your customers. What he means is that if you look after, if you bully your staff, if you intimidate your staff, if you do this, if you pay them sod or wages, create, create a climate of fear in your workplace, then you can make massive profits exploiting your workforce. You can be the biggest bully on the street and you can do nothing but exploit your workers. If you bully your staff, you mean, that's the ethos of your company. If you pay poverty wages, you can make more profits. If you don't give a damn about your staff, your profit margins are higher. Well, let's face it, Jake, we're here to tell you, this ends now, this is over. And I appeal to you, I appeal to you, the workers, the workers of food attraction, you can do something about this. You can do something about this. You can push, join the trade union. If you're being bullied at work, join us. We're here, the Baker's Food and Allied Workers Union. We're here to stop them. And we're here to stand up for you. And I say, Jake, if you want to be consider yourself a good boss, if you want to be considered a decent and honourable human being, I'm telling you, Jake, let's just do one thing. Pay your workers right. Pay them a decent overtime rate. Give them a guaranteed 38 hours a, hours a week. Give them some kind of company sick plan, sick plan and people would be barging down your door to work there. I'm gonna say, we're here to stand up for workers. Come and talk to us, Jake. We're here. Come and talk to us. Do a union recognition. Companies all around have found that working with trade unions benefits them. People like Greg's, they know it benefits them. 
we're here for the workers of food attraction power to the people